Happy Independence Day! If you're making this in a large batch for a party, just scale up the recipe. To serve about 10, you'll need a quart of lemonade, a 24 ounce bottle of lemon lime soda, two ounces of vanilla syrup, and a half cup of each of the alcohols. Either way, you'll need gin, vodka, white rum, a blueberry liqueur, vanilla syrup, lemonade, a lemon lime soda, and some mint. To make a single serving of the Welcome to Earth Punch, start by adding some shreds of mint to your pint glass. Fill it about halfway with ice, then add a half ounce of gin, a half ounce of vodka, a half ounce of white rum, a half ounce of a blueberry liqueur, a quarter ounce of vanilla syrup, four ounces of lemonade, and about three ounces of a lemon lime soda. Give it a little stir and enjoy. Cheers! Like the last Independence Day figure I got, the package on this one is all beat up and yellowed, so it's time to take this thing out of the bubble and welcome it to Earth. Released by Trendmasters in 1996, this is the Zero Gravity Alien, one of the many color variants of the battle suits. This one is in a grayscale color scheme, and I'm not sure what its role is. The others seem to have jobs like the attacker pilot and the science officer. I'm not complaining, I'm just curious. Inside the package, you also get a floppy disk, the first of the 11 computer adventure mission disks. This one allows you to command the alien invasion, if, you know, you have a system old enough to operate it. Like with the other alien battlesuits, this one comes with a little harvester host. Unlike the battlesuits, the hosts all seem to have the same paint job, save for some quality control variants and stuff like yellowing, which this one definitely has. The hosts have bendy wires inside, so you can put them in whatever position you'd like, stick them inside the biocontainment chamber, or inside the battlesuit itself. The package actually has a try me feature just to show how that works. The battlesuit comes with the top tentacles already attached, but you need to plug in the bottom ones. The top ones have bendy wires for awesome posability, but the bottom ones are solid plastic to help it stand upright because otherwise it's just on its tiptoes. Aside from those bendy wire tentacles, you also have rotation in both arms, rotation at the waist, and rotation at the hips. Of course, we can't forget about that action feature of the opening head and get that host nestled inside. This guy stands at eight and a quarter inches tall and the width and depth depends on how you have those tentacles posed. There's a little part of me that wants to collect all the colors now. Like I like this one because it's like a dead suit but the attacker pilot has more movie accurate colors, but the science officer has that sweet metallic blue. As far as prices go, they're all over the place. Depends on if you wanted one mint on card or if you're willing to piece them together. There are tons of each of these on eBay, but most are missing some of their tentacles. If you're gonna be spending this Independence Day hunting for these on eBay or lighting off fireworks, I recommend not doing either one under the influence of alcohol, since you may end up missing some limbs either way. So good luck, Thanks for watching and please, please, please drink responsibly.